Hi guys and welcome back. So Evan feels weird saying but good at the same time if you know what I mean. Um so before we continue on with the whole video, the actual makeup video, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys my explanation to why I was absent for about three months or so. So there are two reasons if I'm remembering correctly. Um, one of them was that I was in finals, summer finals, during the summer, um, and it was gaming. It was a lot for me, um, being able to study for those exams and whatnot. It was just, it was a lot. I was really stressing, like no idea, like no idea. You have no idea how much I was stressing. <laughs> and then we were also planning her baptism. So it was finals week for planning this and for whenever in general you're planning an event, you're running around town, you're buying things, you're gonna make sure what you have. So it was a lot and so just all of that combined took a toll on me and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a break and whatnot. And it helped, you know, because I got, I was able to focus on her and relax before we started school again. So, that is my reason to why I was absent. I really apologize for that. Just out of the blue, you know. But I, if you follow me on Instagram, you do know what's going on. So, if you don't, if you want to be up to date to my whereabouts and whatnot, just follow me on Instagram. I'll leave that link down below. Um... Yeah, and then it was in th it was through um, friends telling me that they missed my videos that also motivated me to come back and get at it again. If you know what I mean. Um, and then about a week ago, we had like mom's night out kind of thing, and I did my friend's makeup. And to be honest, that was the first time I did someone's makeup other than my own, and it felt good. So. I'm really nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but it gave me that extra push and last final push to finally decide to get back at it. So here I am once again. But before anything, I just want to mention that I will be doing videos, but I don't know how often I will be making them, edit the, editing them. But I don't know how often I'm gonna upload them, but for sure. Being of C videos, I'm not gonna completely be MIA and whatnot, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. As for the actual beauty video for today, for this one, um, I will be showing you. It's a get ready with me, pretty much. You're gonna see how I achieved this look and whatnot. And all the products that I use will be listed down below, along with links. I'm pretty, everything's pretty new, so. I will find links for those, I hope. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And thank you for those fellow subscribers that are still with me after three long, like, months. Thank you so much. This really means a lot to me. And so, yeah, thank you for sticking by. Thank you for watching. And keep your eye out. Um, I don't know. Just keep, keep out. For my videos and whatnot yeah so without further ado please keep on watching the video bye i really like this primer because whoa because it does really hydrate i mean i already have dry skin like i said before and now that it's getting colder i can feel my face getting drier so which i hate but what can you do, right? Next, I'm going to be using up my... Sometime at the end of the summer, I went to Sephora and got a little sample of the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. So, although I already have it, um, I'm going to try to use up this last bit before I actually break into the foundation itself. So, just my finger. I'm going to dab it and whatnot to one side of my face 
and then using a round um, kabuki brush this is from RC Cosmetics I'm gonna start dabbing this into my skin just kidding we're gonna do our eyebrows first my eyebrow game has changed quite a bit actually I started using new products and whatnot so if you guys want an updated brow tutorial just let me know down below I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow primer this thing just with this alone you don't necessarily need a brow gel this will make your eyebrow hairs stay in place no joke and for my actual brows I'm gonna be using the NYX eyebrow cake powder powder and dark brown I love this thing the darkest shade we're gonna outline our brows this went back and we did the other one since I was not feeling how it was looking it looks so harsh on camera I promise it makes me really paranoid now I just go in with the cute to PC and just they look a little too much. Just I guess that removes some of the color and make them a bit more more subtle. Hopefully, we can see. Anyway, okay. So now we're actually gonna go for the eyes. I'm just grabbing some tape. It's gonna help for her wing liner. So I'm just grabbing my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm grabbing a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna go with, this is the original so these are the ones, the shades that the original kit came with so I'm just grabbing the fluffy brush and the shade in the middle just, just dabbing and I'm just putting this in the crease and just buffing it out, that's all we're doing to the end. And with a small like detail brush. We're gonna go in with this matte shade. Same fluffy brush with no product on it, just whatever it's in there. I'm gonna go on. Blend it just a bit more. Okay, so I put on my eyeliner and I put on some lashes until where the glue is. I'm just letting it dry. Then we're gonna go in with a bit so Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and Sand Sable. My L'Oreal to Match Concealer in the darkest shade there is. I'm just going to be going from the top of my earlobe and just stop halfway. You don't want to go down too much. So here, there, and then we're going to do this in process. So, top of the earlobe. And the contour kit again. And with that banana powder in the middle and the tapered kabuki brush, we're going to dab that and set our under eye concealer. And I'm using, I love this blush. I'm going to do when I run out, but it's the MAC. Um, so this is the blush, extra dimension actually. And we just put on a stippling brush, and I'm just gonna back stipple away. Um, I finally caved in and bought this infamous Becca highlighters, and I'm gonna be using the rose gold shade. You guys see that glow? But it's there. So the bottom lash line is defined as well. With a flat. It's kind of brush. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna go again with the middle shade and I'm just gonna dab this along our bottom lash line. And it's the lip liner's the NYX Plum Lip Liner. We're just gonna line our lips.
color I'm super excited about is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Bawa. That's a funny name, but I feel like this is a, one of a perfect berry color for the fall. See, oh, this color is just mm. so. It like dries pretty matte already. Um, I'm just gonna set our makeup. Just gonna be using my Urban Decay to Slick Setting Spray. We are all done. So this is what the final look looks like. I'll give you guys a closer. Look. 